Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a new 2019.5 Forest River Salem 32RLDS. This is a newer floor plan for the Salem lineup. Take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and then the outside of the coach. Um, this unit is a two slide out, rear living room, one bedroom unit. It is a travel trailer, so it's a bumper pool. This unit has the new 10.7 cubic foot ever chill refrigerator. You have the new Furion oven, which has the nicer glass door front along with a light built in and the glass stovetop. Upgraded solid surface countertops, high rise pull out sprayer faucet there, microwave, stove range cover. Air conditioning is ducted through the ceiling and the heat is ducted through the floor. A lot of linoleum floor in the coach. Um, plywood floors, 5H tongue and groove plywood floor decking. On the living area here, you have two pushback recliners. Those are freestanding, so you can move them around. Nice big windows. The rear sofa is a jackknife sofa, so you can flip it down. It makes it into a small bed. There's also storage underneath of there, so you can store some things there. One of the things I like about this layout is you're able to see the TV comfortably from either the recliners or the sofa. So you have your fireplace. There's a little hole down there for like a little shoe kick. Uh, you got your sound bar, electric outlets there. Uh, TV hookups are all right there, but you can mount you a nice, decent sized flat screen TV here for those rainy days and actually see it from the seats. A lot of brands, when the, uh, the TV is kind of mounted and you're sitting at the couch, you got to twist your body and turn your body, and it kind of just gets uncomfortable after a while. So, nice setup there for the TV area on the days that you can't be outside. Little LED light strip above the slide. Traditional booth dinette makes into a bed, has storage doors on the front there so you can store some things underneath of there. You can see the kitchen a little better now. Uh, you have a pantry area next to the uh, refrigerator there. Three drawers, some cabinet space underneath of the sink, L-shaped sink, solid surface countertop. It's a nice upgrade over the standard Formica. Decent size uh, amount of kitchen cupboard space up there. Two electric outlets on the uh, kitchen counter area there, so you can plug in your toasters or coffee pots and stuff and let them sit. Air conditioning and furnace controls on the wall, propane leak detector down there. Uh, another electric outlet in the hallway area. Big emergency exit window there. And they use the nicer pull-down shades, too. Going over the hallway here, we are into the bathroom area here. You have the nicer corner shower with the skylight up above, air and heat both in the bathroom, little vent fan, pull-across shower door there. Foot flush toilet. Try and squeeze in here a little bit so you can get a decent view in here. But when you're in the bathroom area here, you do have a cabinet down below, storage space there for a trash can or something, little sink area. There's a, another little cubby area here, and then this area does open up, so you've got some more storage space here. A decent little mirror. Moving on forward here, we're going to go into the bedroom area. Nice big closet across the front. It's got sliding doors up there. Closet on the right side, the big door that you're seeing there, is a place for a washer dryer to go. You could do a stackable washer dryer there if you want. Um, if not, just got more closet space. A lot of room in here to maneuver around. Another little uh, closet area here. So quite a bit of storage in this bedroom here. 
And again, that bed is on a slide out. That bed does raise up. There's uh, USB charger ports back there on the wall. Window on both sides of the bed. They do open. You can see back in here, nice big closet area here. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of these new videos. I'm trying to update a lot of the new stuff as it comes out to help keep you guys informed. You can also reach me at toll-free 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation. Now, this unit, being that we ordered it with the washer-dryer prepping and everything, also was ordered with um, pre-wire for second air conditioner to go right there in that vent. You'll see a little sticker on the ceiling there whenever it's ordered that way. All right, we're going to take a minute now. We're going to head to the outside real quick, let you check out the outside. Uh, going out the coach, you're going to see we have the nicer steps going out there. So it does have the heavier duty steps. Standing back, kind of looking down the side of the coach, you have the power awning with the LED light strip, double entry door, outdoor speakers, there's an electric outlet and your uh, fresh water tank fill up right there, low point drain for the fresh water tank down below there, low point water drains for winterizing purpose or long storage purpose right down there. Traditional steps on the front door. Do have a porch light there also. Uh, another new feature um, is going to be the jack change. They changed this on the 19 and a half stuff. They went to the heavy duty scissor jacks with the JT strong arm arms for more stability and strength. There was a lot of issues apparently going on with warranty claims on electric stabilizer jacks. So you're starting to see more and more of the RV industry going back to the old style heavy duty jacks. And the JT Strong Arms are a great upgrade for that purpose. Two 30 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack, a battery disconnect right there. This one was also uh, has the battery installed on it already. This unit's actually just been pulled in to start working on it to get it ready for a customer who purchased it. But I do have more of these coming. Uh, we're always ordering this camper. This has been a really popular camper since it came out a few months ago. Uh, big storage compartment across the front section here. Some information on the camper, okay, we got two axles, 4480, so 4,480 pounds, ST22575 R15D range tires, gross vehicle weight, 9,940 pounds. Down here, it'd be a little hard to see at the angle, but it has a sticker usually located right here on the frame. It says 8,073 pounds dry. She so got, again, two slides. Your dump tank area is right there. The one in the front is for the washer dryer section. So if you don't use the washer dryer, you're not really going to need that. But then you have your other section right here for your gray and uh, black tank. Moving on around to the back side here, you can see again your detachable power cord, city water hookups, um, cable and satellite hookups all located right there. Pre-wired for backup camera, four inch square tube bumper, six gallon gas electric water heater. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos. Ray here at Couches RV Nation. Toll free number 888-417-8299. My direct extension 203. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.